वेलकम बैक ऑल प्रीवियसली आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू दॉनिक बुक्स फिल्म सिमुलेशन इन साइंस हेयर आई जस्ट गो विद कॉन्जुकेट ही ट्रांसफर एंड सिंपल यू कैन जस्ट रेफर द डेफिनेशन ओवर देयर इट इज जस्ट इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन कंडक्शन एज वेल एज द कंडक्शन बिटवीन फ्लूड एंड सॉलिड हेयर Mm, we can take the refrigerator one two three R one two three as our example, and the flow rate is zero point zero zero one kg per second, and the minus five degree Celsius of that temperature, and this is the coil, and this is the vacuum where you place the uh, the cooling component. So the products which should be cooled or the elements are what. Ingredients which should be cooled, right? Yep. We'll take the air also as a reference as a fluid. And <clears throat> actually, the two hundred watts in the sense we can able to convert that watt into temperature by using this formula. You can just refer this. Uh, right now, I just uh, go with the whatever the thing is available over there. Yep, this is the model which I downloaded from the Grab CAD, and I'll just work on this. So, the case study is already available. You can just work on it. But the thing is, I just wanted to uh, implement the practical approach how we need to deal with the exact conjugate heat transfer. So, this is the cooling coils over there. The refrigerator will pump the uh, R one two three refrigerating fluid inside it, and it will deal with the environment. It will just uh, Uh, eject the heat from inside, and it will just uh, try to cool the fluid. And again, when once it is cooled by using this compressor, it will just again send it back to vacuum. Now the place where the ingredients are placed that should be cooled with respect to our requirement. So we'll just uh, go with the things here. I directly jump on to Nev Wizard. And uh, I just want to name it as Project Two. I'll keep it like this. And here, I need to just change the temperature with respect to degree Celsius. Remaining things are fine for me. Uh, the flow should be external this time because I am going to deal with both. That is external as well as internal. In this case, I need to select the external, so it will analyze the both things. And the gravity along y direction, it should be minus nine point eight here, and here it should be zero. Sorry, zero. And then the heat conduction should happen. Then I'll click on next here. I need to choose the air as my standard, and even. From the compressible fluids, I'll choose the refrigerator one, two, three as a second fluid media. As you can see, the primary fluid substance is air, and inside the coil, I just want to assign the refrigerator one, two, three. For that, I will just choose it. Just a minute. Mm. Once you define it, you can uh, go with the next tab over there. All the input parameters you need to by default specify over there. Uh, by default, it already take on some parameters into account. If you want to make the modifications, you can do it. But otherwise, you can just keep it like this. So. The real refrigerator, like real fluids, having this. For now, I'll uncheck this. By default, I'll keep gas air as primary. Uh, here, I need to define the material for this. So, I'll define aluminium for now. Even you can select the separate uh, elements, and you can define whatever you want. Right now, I'll just specify aluminium for my convenience. Adiabatic I'll keep it. Now heat transfer between the walls. <coughs> Here no changes as default. I'll keep everything as it is. The temperature twenty degree as room temperature. So I just defined the 
wizard so now software will try to create the uh, fluid volume with respect to analysis by default it will create if it is feasible you can just work on it otherwise you can just uh, customize your computational tool and as you require we'll just see how it works yeah once it has been generated you can able to see this is the domain so it is too large for me I just edit it as per my requirement actually I don't want to analyze everything so I'll just minimize the volume as per my requirement instead of wasting much time on analyzing each and every fluid volume over there just uh, reduce the size as respect to your refrigerator right <coughs> then once you customize it properly and make sure you need to create your lids uh, for the pressure openings where uh, R123 uh, refrigerator one, three, one, two, three should flow. I need to define this abdomen and you need to define the fluid flow rate that is mandatory input as well as output boundary conditions you need to define. And this is my fluid region which I want to work in. Manually, I'm just adjusting the things. So, if you want, you can use the dimensions if you know that. But right now, I don't know much about the dimensions and all. I'll keep it like this. Okay. Once you define your uh, domain, you can just click on print check and that domain will be considered for the analysis purpose. And next, I need to define the fluid uh, subdomain. I'll insert the subdomain. <coughs> for this, I'll just choose this. Select other otherwise what we can do is uh, <coughs> I'll close it for now. I'll isolate these components. This one for now. I'll isolate. I even I need the lids now. I'll just choose the lid. For that, I'll just hide this first, and even this component, and this lid, and this one, as well as this. I'll isolate these all the components. You can work on these now. And here, I need to define the fluid subdomain. Let's see how it works. This is very important defining fluid subdomain with respect to this. Uh, and uh, get to know how the flow is happening inside the tube sometimes uh, this is very difficult to uh, <coughs> assign the fluid domain due to some lit conditions so I already faced it due to some reasons automatic lit creation didn't work properly so I went and I asked some help with a colleague he has helped me a lot to solve that one he is somewhat 
factor in cube I just learned it okay what to and all how to just solve things and here the domain is <coughs> can even select the inside surface like this it will automatically recognize so I need to define okay it is recognizing let it recognize so in the recognition uh, if your uh, uh, tube is uh, all fine if it is without any faults or any interruptions it will create a fluid volume properly otherwise it won't create it will give some warnings or errors or it will take everything so I'll get to now <laughs> this should happen it will it should take all the volume even you can consider that uh, refrigerator here the compressor as well as the inside one more tube has gone up that tube you can even uh, collect like combine all the things and you can even collect that as a fluid domain but uh, for now i need to make some modifications and all i need to invest more time for that so i'll just uh, skip that steps and all so for now i'll just take this much as our example that you can do but you need to make a lot of uh, modifications to get the proper domain so once you define the few domain boundary conditions i need to assign anyway and here i'll choose other inside uh -huh. it's not taking just deal with section view and I can select the inside face it's giving somewhat issues it's loading a lot just uh, <coughs> cooperate with that please Here I'll just define the inlet fluid flow. Okay, it took fine. Fluid flow should be 0 0.01001 uh, kg per second for me, and the temperature, as I already know, that is minus 5 degree. It took and that is fine. I'll click on OK. Anyway, you can define outlet. So I'll just go with this inside boundary conditions and this time outlet mass flow with respect to this. It's also 0 0.01 0 0 0.01. I'll click on it. Oh I think something is wrong here let me just check okay I need to select the inside face for this also sorry clear the selection go ahead so select the other face no it's giving only two surfaces so. situation better to go with section view yeah I think now I can just select I found a few candies near you this face I'll define it now not this this is my reference Once you define your uh, <coughs> uh, what boundary conditions as well as the fluid domain, next step is to assign the uh, flow rate 
on the vacuum like whatever the space is you know inside the refrigerator over there you need to apply the heat generation so I'll apply 300 watt uh, with respect to that it should uh, generate the heat inside and that heat, heat should be taken away from the refrigerator fluid so that is our case study and even you can set your goals with respect to what you actually wants to take out yep now this is fine so I'm okay with this so already done with these all the things now if you want you can just use that all now I need to define my heat resources heat sources this phase as well as this and this and this even this phase should generate 300 watt heat and with respect to my cooling system we'll see how it produces results so once you set up the goals automatically it added if you want to define it you can just use goals and you can just define global goals with respect to that and uh, once you define your boundary conditions just run the study to get the results so once you run it it'll directly get the answers so let me just pause the video until we get the results you can right click on the results and you can use load results or load whatever things you have created before you can load the results on your model you can just see how it works and these are the results which I have generated on it and just you show all you can see and this is how the heat distribution takes place inside and due to this heat on the face is generated bad the yellow color you can see the temperature changes and here the cooling exactly at the oil it is cooler the temperature distribution is much short here with respect to that you can able to see so i'll just play this animation so that you can just check how it is working exactly how it's changing with respect to the location and once you analyze it if you want to save this animation you can just, just save it as your requirement and this is how we need to deal with exact refresh writing system when you can create more animations like fluid flow how the mass flow rate is happening and all that kind of animations also you can able to create but for now i don't have much time to deal with these all things so i hope this video will help you to just get in touch with the basics how you can deal with the conjugate heat transfer and this is how the heat changing with respect to the phase inside Just pause the video that animation and even check how the distribution is happening. Thank you, thank you for watching.